What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray for SketchUp tutorial for you. So in this video, I wanted to start getting into some of the glass settings in V-Ray and how they can affect the way that your different types of glass are gonna look. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get in and start talking a little bit more in depth about the different glass materials in V-Ray. So I wanted to teach you a few things. Uh, the first is how to basically convert a SketchUp material to a V-Ray glass material. Then I wanted to talk about some of the reflection settings within V-Ray. So to start off, this is our studio model that we created in a previous video. I'll link to that up above. But basically what that allows us to do is this is basically a lighting studio that we created. And so if I was to run an interactive render right now, this is basically just going to be white because it's basically just an area that's lit by these lights up here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring um, a model in from the 3D warehouse. And so in this case, I'm going to bring in the wine bottle with label and glasses by Benito Juarez. And I'm just going to bring that in. I'm going to load that into my model. And we're just going to drop this right here. And I'm probably going to go ahead and rotate this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explode this group so that each one of these are in here as kind of their own thing. And we're going to come in and we're going to make some changes to the glass materials in here. So to start off, I'm not really going to focus too much on the wine in this glass. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out for right now. We may talk about that a little bit more in a future video. So in this video, I really wanted to focus on basically these objects and making them realistic. So just the way that I bring this in, if I run an interactive render, you can see that V-Ray basically treats these like glass. So you've got a glass material off to the right, you've got a glass material here, and you've got a darker glass material over here. And uh, I just wanted to talk about some of the settings that you can use in order to adjust these things within V-Ray. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my interactive render, and I'm going to basically... I'm going to go inside each one of these objects. Actually, these are copies of the same component, so if I change one, the other one's going to change as well. I'm going to start off, and I'm just going to apply a white material to all the different sides of this object. So now, if I run an interactive render, you'll see that these are no longer glass or see-through or anything like that. And so what I want to do is I want to show you a couple different ways to apply this glass material. So the easiest way or one of the ways that you can do this is you can apply a V-Ray material to your glass. And so to do that, you'd select your object and go into your asset editor. And your asset editor, if you remember, allows you to bring in different materials from V-Ray's library of materials. So you click this little arrow over here and you get this list of materials. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my glass section and I'm just going to take the first option in here, which is glass. So I'm going to click add to scene. I'm going to right click on this and click add to scene. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this, this selected by clicking on it. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to click apply material to selection. And so now, if you were to go into your materials section and sample this, you can see that this has this V-Ray glass applied to it. And so now if I was to run an interactive render, then this glass would render as glass. And so that's how you can use V-Ray's glass materials um, to apply to objects in your models. And so you can see how there's a whole bunch of different options in here. So you could use all of these if you wanted to, um, to apply as glass materials within your model. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a new glass material within SketchUp and then use a material preset in order to make V-Ray treat it like glass. And so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to select this object and we're just going to go pick a color. And it doesn't really matter what color you pick. And if you pick a color other than white, then um, this isn't going to be like... Uh, It'll have a little bit of a tint based on the color that you select. In this case, I'm going to pick this seashell color, and you can't really see it here. You'll see it in a minute. It's got a little bit of a red tint to it, and I'm just going to apply that seashell material to my glass. So you can see how this got just a little bit redder. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the opacity of that material down. So I want to have that material selected. Then I want to go into the Edit tab. 
and I want to go into my opacity and I want to set it to something like 10. And so you can see how when I set this opacity to something like 10, this becomes transparent within SketchUp. So you can now, you can now see through it. And so if you were to come in and run an interactive render, you can see how even though we set the opacity to 10 within SketchUp, it hasn't really affected the way that this looks in V-Ray when we render it. And that's because we haven't applied any glass material settings to this. And so I'm gonna stop my interactive render. And I'm gonna go back into my asset editor. And what I wanna do is I wanna select that seashell material that I applied. And what we wanna do is we wanna tell V-Ray to treat this like a glass material. And so in order to do that, you're going to click on it to select it, and you're going to go into your quick settings, and you can click this drop down, and you can see how there's a bunch of different presets in here. These are going to affect the way that V-Ray treats this material and the way that the light works within this material. So in this case, I'm going to click on the option for glass, and you can see how when I click on the option for glass, what this did is this applied all of these different preset settings like reflection and refraction to this material. So now V-Ray when it looks at this, says, okay, this has all of these settings associated with glass, so I'm gonna calculate all of the light going through this as if it was a glass material. So now, if we were to do an interactive render, you can see how I'd have my glass material on the left-hand side. This is a V-Ray material. And then you can see that the glass on the right-hand side is my SketchUp material, but with the glass preset applied to it. And you can see how these have a very similar effect, except this one's colored a little bit different. And so the last thing I'm gonna do, and I'll leave my interactive render active for the moment, is I'm going to go in and I'm gonna select this glass material using the eyedropper in the material section of your tray. So you can sample this material and you can see how when this material gets selected, it gets selected in V-Ray as well. And I'm just gonna do the same thing where I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna change the setting to glass. So you can see how now, what we have is we have a glass material here that's kind of reflecting our area lights. And we've also got glass material on our two different wine glasses over here. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at some of the settings within V-Ray and what they actually do to your material. So I'm gonna kinda of come in here and I'm gonna create an angle where we have kind of a close up of our glasses so that you can see what these different material changes are going to do. And so, what I wanna do is I wanna click on the little right hand arrow over here to pop out the advanced settings or the material settings for each one of these materials. And so specifically right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this kind of pinkish glass material and go through some of the settings and make some changes. So if you remember that material is this 011 seashell. And I don't have time to get into all of the different glass settings in here. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to start off and I wanted to highlight the reflection settings within V-Ray and kind of talk about what those are going to do. And so to start off, you're gonna go into your advanced material settings over here and you're gonna click the little drop down next to reflection. We're gonna take a look at a few of these different options. So the first is your reflection color. So the reflection color is gonna affect the color of the reflections um, within your glass. And in addition, it's also gonna affect how much reflection is gonna happen. So if I was to go in here and I was to click on this box and I was to adjust this color to like a black material and click apply, you can see how the reflection that was in here of the lights, so you can kind of still see it over here, is no longer in here. That's because when we set this to a black color or a really dark color, this no longer reflects anything. So if I was to set this somewhere in the middle and click the apply button, you'll notice that those reflections are gonna come back, but only a little bit. And then if I was to set this to white, this would be the maximum amount of reflection color that we would get in here. So you can see how you can see these uh, much more clearly. And you can also, if you were to like set these all the way to red or something like that, then you can see how your reflections in here are actually going to be a red color instead of a white color. So you can see how you can adjust those different things within your reflection color to adjust the way that this is going to look. So we're gonna go ahead and set this to the upper left-hand corner, which is a white. 
So I'm going to get into the refraction settings in another video, but the one thing I do want to note is that the refraction color is going to affect your reflect, refraction of light coming through this object in a lot the same way that your reflection color affects how much reflection you get through it. So like for example, if you take a look at our seashell material, if I was to pick a black material and click apply, what that means is this is no longer really letting the light refract through. Um, so you can see how this isn't really, you can't really see through this anymore. So you can use this to adjust the color, but also the amount of light that makes it through here. So a lighter material is going to allow more light through. So you can see how as I drag this to the left and click apply, you can start seeing more light coming through here. And so you can see how if I move this in the upper left hand corner like this, then all of a sudden this is refracting the light through again. and. Uh, so one thing that this can be useful for is if you look at our glass material right now, um, it's very clear and uh, it doesn't really stand out very much. Well, if you come in here and you adjust this down just a little bit, so like I just brought the RGB value down by like five and I click apply, you can see how this is going to make this a little less see-through. Um, the light's not going to come through quite as much. So you can kind of play around with this setting to adjust the way that your glass materials are going to look within V-Ray. So highlight glossiness I'm not going to talk about too much basically what this setting allows you to do is this allows you to unlink um, your highlight glossiness from your reflection glossiness and we're going to talk about the reflection glossiness in just a second um, I will link to a blog post down below that talks a little bit more about this but basically what this would do and it doesn't really work very well in this situation is basically basically this allows you to have a reflection like this one but it would have kind of a uh, almost like a halo like a little bit of a blurry halo around here so and you can see how it doesn't really do that quite so much with this material but that's generally what that would do and like I said I will link to a blog post down below that talks about that a little bit more. Reflection glossiness is going to affect how blurry your reflections are. So you can see how it says right here lower values produce blurry reflections. So if we come in here and we adjust our black material, so take a look right here, and I was to bring this down to something like 0.8 basically what that's going to do is first of all that's going to make the reflections off of this a little bit more blurry but the second thing that it's going to do is it's going to make your glass um, look a little bit different so you can use this to create like a frosted glass effect um, the downside of doing this is if you have a lot of this in your rendering your rendering is going to take longer so now let's look at your Fresnel effect and so basically what this effect does is this affects the way that the light looks based on the angle of your camera to that object. So let's go ahead and let's turn this setting off with our uh, seashell glass over here. So if I turn this off, you can see how this glass looks completely different. I mean, it almost looks kind of aluminum. And so the reason for that is uh, basically the Fresnel effect is, is an effect in real life where the, reflect, the reflection strength of something is different depending on your viewing angle. So if you uncheck this box, then all of the reflections get treated the same, which isn't really ac accurate because depending on your angle to this material, the light's gonna act different ways. And so if we check this box for your Fresnel effect, then you can see how you get this much more realistic effect. And as a general rule, you should just have this box checked whenever you're working with glass materials. So, and I will link to an article about that down below as well. Um, and then the, the IOR is basically going to affect how strongly the reflection of light is within your rendering. So if you go to this black material, for example, and we were to check this box for the IOR and we were to drag that way up, you can see how the reflection strength of your lights is a lot stronger coming off of this material. So you can see if I drag this way up, I get a very strong reflection. If I drag this more down, whoops. If I drag this more down, you can see how I get a much more like muted, but more realistic effect 
coming off of this glass. And so generally speaking, 1.6 is probably a pretty decent place to start. So in the next glass video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the refraction settings within V-Ray. So leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did I get into some, did I explain this in a way that's understandable? I just love having that uh, conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering tutorials every week. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.